the station that's on your side. News 12, first at 5, continues. Next at 5, Georgia lawmakers are doing more to fight homelessness. Stick around to hear more on the new proposed ban. And a sight for sore eyes. The Augusta Boathouse is in rough shape, and there is a push for change, but not without funding. Plus, two North Augusta football players are making their dreams come true and their families so proud by signing to play in college. But first, the Sun made a return for Valentine's Day moving in later in the week in just about 10 minutes. And Briley, the Savannah Riverfront is home to many attractions, one of which is rowing. The sport grew so much attention that organizers created the Augusta Rowing Club that sits right off the river. After years of use, the club is in desperate need for repair. All over the country, rowers use this space for competitions and events, but without repairs, the club has nowhere to turn. So now they are turning to Augusta leaders to push more funding towards this space. Our Nick Veland is live at the Augusta Rowing Club for us, and Nick, you saw firsthand the need for repairs. Yeah, out here, it's in desperate need. Well, right now, Excuse me. Well, right now, all you can really see, only members in the Augusta Rowing Club are able to use this garage behind me. Everywhere else in the building is off limits due to it being deemed unsafe. Of the building. During this time, head coach of the Rowing Club, Brad Holdren, tells me a decision was made to turn the heat off. Then, when the freezing temperatures came over Christmas, pipes burst inside the building, only making matters worse and causing the club to make adjustments ahead of the spring season. A lot of questions with our uh, lighting fixtures and electric where the water had leaked down on them so we don't turn the lights on. You know, we, we treat it as a garage only now and just enter by day and, and uh, run our practices outside of the river. We don't have indoor practices anymore. And for the time being, they are able to use that garage, but that can change any day now. And I'll have more on that coming up all new on News 12 at 6 o'clock. All right, thanks for that update there, Nick. Transportation officials in Spartanburg are working to find out what exactly caused a train to derail. This is a sky view of the scene in Ennery near Highway 221. First responders say train cars came off the tracks, but they can't say for sure what caused it. CSX Transportation was also investigating the scene. And we'll be sure to bring you the latest developments as this investigation continues. Well, new at 5, plans for Georgia Senate to address homelessness in the state. Our State House reporter Abby Casoras breaks down where a new bill now stands. Senate Bill 82 is the first time this session that we've seen lawmakers trying to address the issue of homelessness. Now that bill is heading to the Senate floor, even though fellow lawmakers and organizations want to see some changes. But I know one thing, when somebody can sleep safe at night, that's what this is about. Senator that's Cardin Summers is the bill's sponsor. It would ban people from camping and sleeping in spaces that aren't designated as homeless camps by local governments. City and county officials would be compelled to arrest anyone if they're breaking that rule. We're trying to create sanctioned camping areas for people. There's a lot of vacant property in every city. It doesn't matter where you go. In Georgia, at least 10,000 people are considered homeless. Coco Guthrie Pappy works with more than 800 homeless kids in Chatham County through her organization, Deep Space. She testified opposing the bill, calling it a public safety issue. It's concentrating folks into one area, you know, where sober people are going to be next to people in active addiction, where there might be people who are having some really extreme mental health episode. Jim Thornton with the Georgia Municipal Association says the bill could bring costly lawsuits. Laws passed in similar cities have served as a basis for a lawsuit after an officer arrests someone camping or sleeping in a prohibited area. The state law tying the hands of city officials and particularly the threat of litigation um, that would come and be very expensive for cities is just going to deplete the resources that otherwise could be used to help solve the problem. The committee adjourned after approving that legislation, expecting Senator Summers to make some changes before presenting it to the Senate. In Atlanta, I'm Abby Casoris. A bill to create a statewide open enrollment program has a house
House Education and Public Works subcommittee hearing this afternoon. If that bill becomes law, the program would allow any student to attend a public South Carolina school because it basically would erase school district lines. For example, a student who lives in Charleston would be able to go to a public school in Greenville if there was enough room for that student. All new on News 12 at 6 o'clock, we'll have much more on this plan. While National Signing Day has come and gone, the window for high school athletes to sign their letters of intent with the colleges of their choosing is still open. This afternoon, a couple of North Augusta Yellow Jackets signed the dotted line to play college football. Quarterback Colson Brown likes being a Yellow Jacket so much that he's decided to be one for the next four years by going to Georgia Tech. While his right-hand man and stud running back DJ Curry will be taking his talents to Newberry College. These two seniors share this special moment with their families, teammates, coaches, and they're looking forward to playing their, the next game at the next level. I just need to keep, keep going, keep pushing, move to the next level, and show them I can do it there too. The DJ and Colson are the epitome of what it means to be a Yellow Jacket. Um, guys that work hard, do the right thing, take care of their classroom. Um, just, just so, so proud of these guys, and they are uh, the face of this program, and we're sad to see them go, but we're happy for the future. Stick around, because at the top of the hour, we'll hear from quarterback Colson Brown, the newest Georgia Tech Yellow Jacket. All right, thanks, Dan. When you think about Valentine's Day, you think about spending time with your loved one, going out to dinner, getting them flowers or chocolates. But for one of our very own here at News 12, it's been difficult to even see their loved one. Our chief engineer, Joe McGee, met his now fiance Maria, through his sister. She lives almost 4,000 miles away near Rotterdam in the Netherlands. They basically only get to see each other a few months out of the year, so Valentine's Day, it's really special to them. Since March of 2021, they've been trying to get a visa for her to come to the U.S., but it's been delayed because of the massive backlog with the Department of State. They reached out to local representatives to try and get some help. It's just kind of like, you know, it kind of shed this shed a light on kind of a dark dark tunnel yeah. you, know, you have no idea what you're getting into yeah. but you're going through the process yeah. and we are worth the process and so right now their application was approved but they are on a 15 and a half month waiting list but regardless they say that they will keep on going back and forth between here and the Netherlands for as long as this process takes just to see each other oh and stick around we will have their full love story all new on news 12 at six o'clock and these two oh my goodness yeah it's it's it, it's something you don't want to miss listening to them listening to them talk about that especially her being here on valentine's day just lined up perfectly for this so it's gonna yeah, be great they're a really really sweet couple and we we give them a hard time especially joe <laughs> if you look at his facebook page ever we say that you're going to get a cavity because they're so sweet i mean they eat dinner together four thousand miles apart on, yeah, FaceTime. on facetime it's so, great yeah this is a very special story and we can't wait to share it with you and on valentine's day too great day for it lined up perfectly yeah a man and his dog with more incredible stories than you can count they've shared their journey online and now they're hoping to use social media to pay it all forward riley well, beautiful spring-like weather is going to continue over the next couple of days, but we are tracking widespread rain by Friday. Have a look at the forecast just after the break. A new South Carolina house bill is opening the door so that more students can step foot on Aiken's campus. That's all new on News 12 at 6 o'clock. Time, Time and Temp, brought to you by Jamie Casino Injury Lawyers. I'm going to call me right now. Wilson family has been heating and cooling homes out the rice dealer. We're only couple when you are. Whether you're a farmer, hunter, contractor, or weekend warrior, North Augusta Customs is your authority in trucking accessories. From hitches to step bars, toolboxes to tonneau covers, leather interiors, or window tinting, North Augusta Customs is committed to being your go-to shop. Your exclusive dealer of spray-on bed liners and truck gear accessories by Linux, both backed by a nationwide lifetime warranty. North Augusta Customs, located just across the river on Jefferson Davis Highway and on NACustoms.com. Have you fallen out of love with your car? Have high gas prices? And on NACustoms.com.
Have you fallen out of love with your car? Have high gas prices or high mileage left you dreaming of a new ride? Let Gerald Jones Auto Group make this breakup easy. Come sell us your car. We'll give you a top dollar instant cash offer on the spot. And if you're ready for a new relationship, Cupid is dropping off new vehicles for you every day. Fall in love with your car again at Gerald Jones Auto Group. Or find your perfect match online at clickaroo.com. Rhodes Murphy, your local trusted and contact service. It's bow time. Uh, a leg and thigh dinner from Bojangles for just five ninety nine. A leg and thigh dinner from Bojangles for just five ninety nine. A deal so good it's worth repeating, but it won't last long. So much flavor. Eat and repeat while last. So much flavor. It's bow time. Uh, on air and on very high across the region. And it's all thanks to these warm temps. We're going to be hitting the 70s each afternoon through Thursday. A little bit cooler into the weekend, but we are back to seasonal highs by Sunday. Thanks, Riley. A Georgia pit bull is living a life that's full of adventure thanks to his dad. The two have traveled thousands of miles together, kayaking, rock climbing, even riding on a motorcycle. The duo shared their journey on TikTok. Now they're trying to pay it forward. Sawyer Bussey has their story. When you live the life of an adventurer, you spend a lot of time defying the odds, doing the very things people thought you could not do. Like this dog on your screen, for example. His name is Knucklehead. We ride motorcycles, and a Knucklehead is a pretty famous brand, so or motor, so um, we just call him Knucklehead, and he started living up to his name. He can kayak, motorcycle, rock climb. He can even climb a ladder, which Aaron tells me surprised him. At work, went up a ladder, turned around to see that Knucklehead had followed him. This dog loves adventure. His dad's name is Aaron. Aaron's a vet who served in Iraq, came home with undiagnosed PTSD. Dogs became a comfort Aaron needed. Knucklehead became that comfort. There are times I literally won't get off the couch for, you know, 24 hours or something, and he'll come and, like, put all his weight on me and push me and make me get up to... Make him go ride motorcycles or something. Everywhere Aaron went, Knucklehead would go. And the places he couldn't go, Aaron found a way. Um, you can see the special box we made for him out of aluminum. On the dirt bike, he's probably got like a 1,000 miles on it. And we've got 13,000 miles on this bike. They posted on social media. More than 126,000 people on TikTok alone are following along. One of their videos has 15.9 million views. They say they want to use their platform to fundraise. GI Garage Limited is a veteran-ran organization where they bring other veterans in, they kind of teach them how to mechanic. In order to live the life of a true adventurer, you might just need a friend who loves the wind in his face even more than you. Salt your bussy, Elena News First. And no. that, that's all you can say is that it reminded you of your own pups. There. I know. That he looks just like Eliza. That's awesome. The ladder thing was really cool. I know. See, the, just up and down, no problem. You know why? It's because Knucklehead, and probably because I have an Eliza who's just you like that. They don't want to be anywhere where you are not. Yeah. So yeah. I, I think Eliza would climb a ladder to get to me. So. I think my dog would probably yeah. try to do the same, then knock it down, so I'd be stuck on the roof. Probably. So I would just have no way down. <laughs> so. That's what would happen. Well, uh, he's just about to gain another follower on TikTok. That's fine. Yeah. All right, we'll be back just after this short break. News. News 12. Voted best weather coverage by the Georgia Association of Broadcasters. Let's go. The studio behind Russ says the film will resume production this spring. Most of the original crew team will finish the film after the cinematographer was killed in a shooting on the New Mexico set. Additional crew members have been added for safety. Live ammunition is prohibited on the set. Star Alec Baldwin is currently facing involuntary manslaughter charges for the incident that killed Hutchins. It's a Taylor Swift fan's dream come true. The Swift-themed breakup bar is open in San Francisco's <laughs> Marina District. Drinks are named after her hit songs, and there's even a wall with a long list of her ex-lovers. The general manager of the pop-up bar says that while the bar was initially only supposed to be centered around Valentine's Day, 
It's proven to be so popular that it will now be open until mid-March. That's pretty funny. That's pretty good. More car rental options are coming to travelers at Augusta Regional Airport. They are the first airport in Georgia to approve a contract with Turo. It is a car-sharing company that works through an app similar to Uber or Lyft. The app allows people to post their cars for travelers to rent while they're in town. They can either exchange the car curbside or the owner can leave it for the passenger in the parking lot. Leaders with the airport say they decided to bring the company here to make transportation to and from the airport and around town easier for travelers. Uh, so I know a lot of airports uh, throughout the country have been having rental car shortages. So we've just been looking at other options for our passengers so they're not stranded at the airport. There's more options for them to get a car and get to their destination. They say they're hopeful it will encourage more people to fly out of Augusta Regional Airport. As well, Turo is expecting to launch here on March 15th, just in time for tournament week. So, might give it a try. True magic for an outstanding cause. The storybook brunch has proven to be a success. From princesses, Curious George, to the Wizard of Oz, some classic fairy tale characters made a stop at Augusta this past weekend. I see someone familiar there. Yes. I was playing the role of Glinda, the good witch. The ninth annual storybook brunch event raised $96 thousand dollars all the proceeds go to benefit pediatric burn patients being treated at the joseph m still burn center at doctor's hospital it's my favorite event every That's year a great event, it was so much fun the lovers of augusta baseball got a valentine's day treat we'll show you the special special messenger for the first green jackets game of the season that's coming up it's clothing coverage care Cut it off. New Excellence Creme Hair Color. Now even better with a new color reveal shampoo. Nothing protects and covers grays better. Triple care routine. 100% great coverage at home. I did that. New Excellence Creme by L'Oreal Paris. Well, some people around the region got a special surprise on Valentine's Day. Tickets to the first Green Jackets game of the season delivered by Augie himself. We tagged along with Augie as he made his first delivery this morning and spoke to one Green Jackets fan who says they were totally surprised by the gift and really <laughs> the one who delivered it. I was shocked. I had no idea this was happening. Um, I don't know. My fiance always has tricks up his sleeve, so this was... Not expected, but it was it was cute. I loved it. The gift included tickets to the first game of the season, and everyone in the office made sure to take their picture with the local celebrity. Is Augie the fiance, or is it her fiance no. someone else? No, her because fiance he looks is like else. He, I don't know. Augie's got some tricks up his sleeve or his wing, whatever you want to call it. No, I think I, I think Augie was the um, hired messenger. Understood. That would but, uh, be an extra element of surprise, though. If he was yeah. under there, if he was yeah. under there, took off the Augie hat. Pretty cool well, idea, though. I like that. Surprise! <laughs> How you doing? Hey, baseball season will be here before we know it. It's feeling like baseball season out there today. We actually did see high temps in the 70s. Now that that sun's getting a little bit lower into the sky, we're dropping off into the 60s. Any plans to maybe head out with your date tonight? I would grab the light jacket. Nothing overly heavy. We're just going to see our temps fall into the 50s for the rest of this evening. And then late tonight, early tomorrow, we'll most likely see the 40s for overnight low temps. We are going to stay dry tomorrow and pretty warm the next several afternoons. We're actually going to stay in the 70s, possibly upper 70s, all the way through Thursday. Rain's going to hold out until we get to early Friday, then a little bit cooler outlook into the weekend. All right, thanks, Riley. That's all the time we have. Much more news, weather, and sports coming up after a short break on News 12 at 6 o'clock. Happy Valentine's Day.